Hey guys, Kid Guru here for the Tag World, and I know I haven't recorded a video in a while, or a tutorial, or any overview of, um, you know, of any application, and today I do have an application for you guys I want to show you an overview of, because, um, I've gotten a chance to use it for a while, and, uh, really, uh, you know, I use it in blogging, it's a really great application. Now, the paid version of this, because it is a paid app, it's $50 up front, I'll tell you that, and it's made by a great company called TechSmith, which is um, using their video recorder, uh, Camtasia, to record this. And I decided to do a review, not only for the viewers, but, you know, hopefully I can send this on to TechSmith, you know, because they always accept feedback. Um, and I always love to give my feedback on any terms, uh, any terms, uh, any types, I should say, not terms, but any types of software that I get to try out and, you know, use. Now, they have a Snagit free uh, version that you can try for, I believe, I'm not sure the trial is, but I guess we could check it out here. Um, the trial, um, maybe it's a um, maybe 15 day, I would guess, or maybe it's a certain amount of uses you get on it. Let's see what it says. Snagit trial. You get to use it for a full 30 days, so, guys, the, uh, just about on a month, you get almost a, pretty much a month of using an application, which I think is more than enough uh, to try it out and check it out. Now, you, when you buy the application for $49, um, you can get the electronic version, which is just a basic download, or you can get a boxed and electronic version, which would be obviously the software box plus the electronic version, uh, and adding on like shipping and handling and stuff like that. Now, what is Snagit? Snab Snagit actually captures your digital lifestyle, it says here. Now, not just by simply taking a snapshot. You know, when you have print screen on your key, uh, on your uh, you know computer, obviously you can take a quick print screen of something if you want to check it out. But if you want to get a more in-depth picture, a single thing on your desktop. A single window, a single, you know, anything and annotate it, add text, uh, you know, email it, tag it, store it for your online collection. That type of stuff, Snagit does that, and it's really professional grade software for a good price of $50. So it has a lot of stuff. You can check out the overview video, it does a cool uh, overview of everything. But I'm going to go ahead and open Snagit right here, and I'm going to drag over to my other monitor real quick. And as you see, I'm here, and I accidentally opened the dock entry properties. One second. Okay, so this is what Snagit looks like when you open it. And you can have this running the tray that way. Anytime you need to take a quick picture, you can set up hotkeys and everything. So down here, you can select your regions, or you can just click it up here. Um, full screen scrolling window, so it can take a web page. Images from a web page. Record screen video. So it has a built-in uh, recorder. Uh, now, obviously, this probably won't be like uh, Camtasia S Studio or, you know, uh, Camtasia recorder type quality, but it'll probably be uh, pretty good. Um, menu time with delay, so a lot of stuff that you can capture in a certain object. Really, really cool stuff, guys. Uh, you know, just way a huge step from just your simple print screen. Now, obviously, you can output it to many, many types of things: FTP, email, programs, and this supports programs like Microsoft PowerPoint, Skype, a whole bunch of stuff. If IMs, IM clients, so you can send your photo to multiple friends. And has a lot of cool stuff that you can edit the photo with, uh, image scaling, image resolution, color correction, substitution, uh, add watermark, so like a little logo, edge effects, some cool stuff that I'll be showing you in a second here. Now you can mess around with the options too. Now, if you want to simply capture thing, you can change your capture mode, so image capture, a text capture, a video capture, or a web capture. I'm going to be doing this for the purpose of a uh, text capture. So I'm just going to let the thing load here, and you guys can't see it, but what it does is it opens up a little thing in the top left of your screen, you can probably see a little bit of it. It's in uh it shows you a zoomed in thing of what you're about to uh you know uh you select the region for. So I'm just gonna take a quick picture here. And you guys can't see because it's off uh screen, but just give it a second here and it'll show up. Okay, so I took a picture of is it loads here. Um my folders at the top, the main folders I use. Now if you notice here what's really cool I did this before in my other take of the video. Um it keeps uh, a history of what you've done in the past. You see here, I use these in blogging. Uh, and even does if you have dual monitors and you take a picture of a full screen. Check this out. It does. It does a full resolution of your actual. Uh, I'm just gonna expand this here. Monitor, so I can go all the way across. And just it does even make that divide. It just cut, kind of shows. It makes it look all as one. See, that's where the actual monitor is cut off. So it has a cool, uh, quick, cool history thing that you can go and check out of all your photos that you've edited in the past, which I think is really, really cool because just gives you a nice little visual thumbnail of what you've edited in the past instead of you having to go dig through. Now I can simply add text and I can say desktop and then you know I can add, I can change the way it looks obviously uh, 
colors, etc. You get really fancy, especially you can make it look really professional and stuff like that. And you can add shadows, fills, those type of things. And I can add uh, little, you know, arrows to and other type of things, other type of uh, shapes. I'm just going to pick a simple arrow here and I'll take this and I'll, I'll move this first. No, I guess, yeah, I'll move it just a little bit down. Then I'll take that arrow, as I said, and you want to drop it in right I'll drop it in right here and draw an arrow to that. I mean, see, it's simple, uh, you know, click and drag stuff. You can have an eraser tool. You have all your basic things. Now, this is something really cool if you want to highlight or annotate text. So I can simply easily draw a little square over my documents, you know, to emphasize that, you know, that may be important in the picture I'm sending to somebody. So it's really cool tools. Now, that's just the drawing functionality. The image tab, you can add cool borders. You can make it look kind of torn. Uh, you can add this little black border, add that, you know, space out border. You can do this kind of weird jagged effect, faded, and your regular normal picture. And you can do your own custom trimming, resizing, cropping, etc. Obviously, this isn't like anything like Photoshop or anything like that, but it is a pretty powerful quick on image editor and has a lot of easy stuff to use. Now, you can use hotspots so you can link certain stuff. So if I wanted to highlight this recycle bin for example I can link it to www. Uh, I don't know like my site for example I don't know adrianstech.com so when people get the image and they click on recycle bin it's gonna take them to my site I mean whatever you want to do and you can have a little tool tip so when they hover over it it'll show uh, you know like my site I don't know, let's see it checks it out here hovers over it obviously because I'm still in the image editor but the tool tip would say my site and um, you know, there's a whole bunch of other things you can do. You can do a flash pop-up, so you can get uh, a graphic to pop up when they click on it, or a text pop-up. Really cool stuff here, guys. And you can change the shape, of course, make it into a circle or uh, any other type of thing. So hotspots really cool if you want to link off to something within the picture. Uh, now tagging. This is uh, really cool for just file management, guys. It lets you manage your pictures easily, and you know, you have these things like financial, cool, follow-up, bug, error tag certain words or phrases that way you can find your image easily if now if you're a photo buff you take a lot of pictures have a lot of stuff in your my pictures folder really great way to tag it and organize it view this is just certain ways to view it zooming panning all the obviously and lastly sending it now you can output accessories you can add stuff because you can add stuff like skype like i said and if i click accessory managers here it just opens up get more accessories and i can go into applications like msn skype and that's going to open up a page in your uh, web browser, but you can also do the basic uh, clipboard. You can send it to a clipboard to you can paste it somewhere. FTP access if you want to upload it to a site or something, and email obviously. So a lot of ways to send it out. And like I said, you can get functionality for Skype, uh, other third-party software. That way you can send it directly from Snagit to uh, somebody online on your friends list. Anyways, guys, check this software out. Really cool, um, professional styled, uh, you know, image editing, and you can do a lot of cool stuff with it. Now it's dead simple to use is what I really liked about it really cool uh, editing functionality but yet at the same time it's really cool top grade software and if you want to get the full version it's only fifty dollars so guys I uh, hope you enjoyed this video and don't forget to check out my website at www.adrianstech.com and email me any questions concerns requests at adrianstech at gmail.com thanks for watching guys